Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister here from Traction Dynamics. This evening I'm going to show you a new product. It's a, a custom badge mounting plate kit that will allow you to remove the OEM Honda badges from the side of your fairing. Um, a lot of people kind of, I've seen a lot of people sticking uh, badges and decals over the top of these, but this is a, a con vex surface and so it's uh, uh, not conducive for most decals to stick to it. The problem is if you peel this badge off of the bodywork there's a, a big pocket with a hole behind it and a bunch of stuff also a big problem for trying to apply any kind of badge to it because there's not a flat uniform surface there. So what we've got is um, I've made some steel plates that are powder coated and then um, applied uh, th with 3M adhesive applied to them that once you remove the badge uh, and clean the adhesive out of the hole then you can apply this badge in the pocket in the fairing there and then you can set about putting on whatever cool badge you might have like a traction edition badge or it could be anything I've seen you know, f funny things or serious things or who knows what. But, <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is show you what you got to do to get one off. Um, and, and then uh, show you what it looks like all done and on. So the first step is you want some heavy tape, uh, <clears throat> like a, a duct tape or this gaffer's tape I'm a big fan of. Um, the paint tape's okay, but it's kind of thin. You want something because we're going to push on this a little bit with a screwdriver. So you're going to tuck up under the groove. You can actually feel a groove with your fingernail there. So try and force it in there and just come up at it from six o'clock. <clears throat> Get a small screwdriver. You know, here's my finger for reference. You're just looking for something very tiny. Okay, so um, and you're going to start at six o'clock get behind the badge and start with a kind of a prying force with your I'm kind of smushing my finger and just start pushing it up now behind here this is scratching the fairing but we don't care because you can't see that uh, so every so often give a little tug and it starts to tear the foam and then push it in a little push it in a little more and then eventually you'll be far enough behind that you can tear the foam away uh, the, the adhesive that's there all right, so there's your badge that's off. But now is where the real fun begins. So this adhesive is evil, evil stuff. And it takes a long time to get off. So I'm not going to do that on this video. Um, you can't, you know, take your time while you pull on this and you'll get more of it, uh, particularly if you get a section that wants to go just like kind of any other sticker in the world. But Behind here is the reason that you can't just pop this off and hope to stick something down. So this is angled, recessed, holes, stuff all inside of it. So this, this is just not going to, it's not, not conducive to doing your decal. Now you can rub your thumb raw doing this, which I've done many times. Uh, I recommend at this point... <coughs> Put in some masking tape around here because while you're rubbing away on the paint you don't want to you, you know you'll be rubbing forcefully you don't want to rub on the paint you're gonna see so put some sort of little shield up there to kind of protect you um, you'll need like some electrical contact cleaner or adhesive remover something like that some of this I just try and get the, the bulk of the thick stuff off just by rolling it into little balls and pulling the balls off. So again, I'm not going to uh, bore you with that, but you can see how tedious this gets. Um, once you get down to this real low foam level where you can just see adhesive and not really any more foam, that's when I kind of start applying some, uh, some cleaner or solvent or something like that to try and dissolve the glue. And uh, it's, it just takes a while. so. Be patient and uh, your thumb will get sore. So, and after that, um, the, the, uh, the part fits perfectly into the bore. Um, 
so of the pocket so it's very easy to apply um, if you're wondering why there's a little hole in the badge well they have to be able to hang it somewhere in order to powder coat it so we have to put a little tiny hole in it um, but from there you're able to apply whatever you want so we like to do this for bikes that we've done any kind of heavy level of customization to we'll uh, put our that's where we, the need came from was first but uh, was their traction edition badges but uh, that's what we'll have and again there's one more look at it so um, this is a product I haven't being made right now as of the date of this video um, uh, they're probably done actually as I speak the bare metal plates I'll get them to the powder coaters that'll probably take a week or so and then we'll have them up on our website um, this kit will be uh, $23 $22.95 uh, again we're trying to price things so we can get them in a box a uh, small flat rate box and get them to you for 30 bucks or less so that's how that'll work um, they'll come with the adhesive pre-applied and you'll just kind of have to follow this procedure and then go look for whatever badge you want uh, to customize your Honda Goldwing. And actually, if you have any Honda motorcycle that, that has that Honda badge, of course, you can use this same kit to accomplish that same task. This uh, not only works on the 2018 Plus, but the preceding Goldwing had the exact same badge in the, in the pocket. So you should be able to use it on all of those bikes. And uh, pretty much there's a ton of Hondas out there with that badge on it. So. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel, you get for, to be first in line for any of the products. Yours will ship first, and you also get discounts if you're a member, or if you've hit the uh, join badge, wherever the or the join button is. So, for a couple bucks a month, you can get save a lot of money on all the parts we make here at Traction Dynamics, and get to be first in line. So. Uh, Please, uh, if you're interested, shoot me an email, max at traction.com, and I'll get you onto the list of that. So I'll know to hit you up as soon as I have them in our hands here, and then we'll get them up on the site, and I'll notify you that they've arrived. So thanks a lot. Please subscribe to my channel, and keep watching for more great products and great content coming soon.